For related rates problem, the first step is usually name the variables, which means you need to find what are varying. So in this problem, we find two things are varying by time, the volume and the radiance. So I name V to be the volume. And R to be the radius. Right. So now we can check what conditions we're given. The first condition, 100 centimeter cubic per second. That's a rate of the volume. And we know rate means the derivative. So it means the derivative of volume is 100. So we can write as dV over dt is 100. The second condition is 50. That is the diameter, d equals to 50. But we want the radians, so we can quickly get radians. It's actually 25 centimeter at that time. So now we can set up an equation involve all the dependent variables now which means V and R. So if you open your book to the first page, you can find the volume of the sphere is V equals to 4 third pi R cubic. So after setting up an equation, we can start to take the derivative of both sides with respect to T to create those dV over dT term and the term dR over dt, which is the term we are looking for, because you want to find how fast is the radius, which is the derivative of the radius. So we take the derivative of the left hand side and the derivative of the right hand side. We find the left hand side, it's just dv over dt, which is the derivative of v, or the rate of v. Then the right-hand side, since 4 third pi is just a coefficient, so keep it. So when you take the derivative to r cubed, you need to use chain rule, because r depends on t. Okay. So chain rule tells us that derivative of r cubed is 3r squared then dr over dt. So you can simplify a little bit of the right hand side, 3, 3 cancel out, then you get 4 pi r squared and dr over dt. So now in this equation, dv over dt we already know that is 100 equals to 4 pi r square. We know r is 25, so r square is 25 square. The only thing we don't know is dr over dt. But that's the question. So in this equation, we have only one unknown, dr over dt. So you can quickly solve this equation. So the right hand side is actually 4 pi times 25 square, which is 2500 pi, then dr over dt. So we divide by 2500 pi both sides of this equation. You get dr over dt is 100 divided by 2500 pi. If you simplify it, you get 1 over 25 pi. And the unit is centimeter per second because that's the rate of the radiance. So that's it. Okay.